the snacks that I'm gonna bring with me on my little trip to Seattle. That way I have some snacks, some things to drink, all the things to keep me on track. So first from Nut Stop, I'm gonna be bringing my dried pears. Now these pears have zero added sugar. So I actually count these as zero and I don't overeat them. I eat about a pear's worth. So to me, this is considered a fruit. Nut Stop is awesome. I do have 10% off for you guys. It's not an affiliate link, but you can get 10% off with the code here on the screen. And the link is down in the description box. So I'm bringing those. And then I'm gonna bring a few bars, a Quest birthday cake bar. I'm gonna bring a healthy eating all the time and go. This is the chocolate granola bar. This is delicious. Again, not an affiliate link, but she does give you guys 12% off with the code here on the screen. And this is again, the healthy eating all the time and go bar. I'm gonna bring a couple packages of the vegan white cheddar hip peas. These are two points a package. Also some thinnables. These are a dupe to the Cheez-It, but you can have 30 of these for only two smart points, which is awesome. There isn't very many left, so it'll be perfect just to take with me. Sharp cheddar, these I buy off of Nettrition, and there's a link for Nettrition down in the description box. I'm also gonna bring a couple of yogurts just so that I have something yummy to have on hand. I'm gonna throw these in a little, uh, over here, insulated bag with an ice pack and then that way I have some yogurts to eat. And I've got a raspberry and a mixed berry acai. Also a couple premieres, just so if I don't have any other options for coffee in the morning, I can go to an espresso stand and get some shots and dump in a premiere. Not a big fan of premiere, but it'll do in a pinch. So two of the chocolate premiere. Also some water enhancers, uh, just some Walmart water enhancers. I'll be drinking a lot of water on this trip. Some raspberries, just so that I have some yummy fresh fruit. And then from Built Bar, I'm gonna be bringing a Built Bar for each day, both tomorrow and Saturday. And so I have a cherry and a coconut almond. And I'm also bringing Built Boost, which is that vitamin water enhancer, which is awesome. So Built Bar, 10% off and free shipping with my code here on the screen must have for me, would never go on a trip without them. So some boost and some built bars. So those are my snacks. So let's get these packed up and let's get on the road. All right, guys, I'm officially on the road. Look at all this. So I've got all my stuff, my laptop, I've got my purse, my snacks, I'm literally good to go. So I am going to have a little bit of breakfast on the run. I was actually going to eat my meal prep before I left, but it's already 10 o'clock and I really need to get on the road and I still have to stop by my office because I do not want to drive under any circumstances at night. So I'm going to be getting on the road. Let me show you what I'm having for breakfast and then literally we're officially on the road. All right, so I'm in the car and for breakfast, I'm gonna munch on a healthy eating all the time and go. This one is the peanut butter cranberry. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. These range anywhere from six to seven smart points. I count them all as six because they're literally within like one or two calories of each other. So I'm gonna have this and then I also brought a bag of grapes. And over here, I'm working on some water. So this is going to be my six smart point breakfast while I hit the road. So here's my lunch today. So I went ahead and got the Taco Bell pinto beans and cheese minus the cheese. So all I have is the beans with some of the mild Taco Bell sauce and the sauce is zero. So the app said that the beans with the cheese was six points, but because I didn't get the cheese, I'm going to count it as three points, which sounds about right based on the nutritional information. And then I have two of the crispy tacos, El Fresco style. So I have another one there. These are four smart points a piece, which is great. Um, you can add a little bit of Taco Bell Mild to that for zero. So I'm gonna have two tacos for eight, and then my pinto beans is three. So that makes my lunch 11 smart points. So you can definitely stay on track on the go. So I'm at the gas station. I'm about three quarters of the way to Seattle, and I just grabbed a few things. So they had their big smart waters on sale, two for four dollars. So this is the big, huge one. This will be great just to have in the hotel room. I can add all my water flavorings to those. So I actually got two of those. And then I also grabbed a bubbly, and this is the raspberry, so good. This was 99 cents, so I picked that up. And then 
I've been wanting a sweet tree and you know at the gas station there are so many not WW friendly options but I found this one I don't know the points I want to say these are four but this might be bigger than the average so I'll put the points here on the screen for you regardless I'm only gonna have four points worth so if it's half this then it's half this but that's gonna be my little sweet treat this afternoon so made good choices at the gas station and now I'm gonna go ahead and get back on the road let's go outside the snow is falling down and every child hey guys I am officially in Seattle as you can see I'm in my hotel room holy moly that was a long drive it was about five hours total and of course the traffic is crazy here then i get to the hotel and they're replacing the carpet in at the entryway so i had to walk all the way around the building through the alley to check in go park in the garage hike up to the third floor it's just been a day but i am here so i'm going to go ahead and flip you guys around and show you my room this is a really cool place we stay here when my husband comes over for his medical procedures at the u of dub hospital and they were kind enough to allow me to stay here for my class and it is about a third of the price of any other hotel room and a third of the price of the parking of any place here in seattle so it's a win-win it's an older place because it's an old college dorm but for the price I'll stay here. It's clean. It's nice. So this room is huge. So let me flip you around and let me show you my room. So this room is really large there. It looks like a twin bed and a queen bed. And because it's an old college dorm, there's these closets with you know, little like storage areas. And also people stay here for a long period of time if their loved one is in the hospital. So there's a desk area, this is great. So I can sit here and edit. Again, there's some other storage, there's a refrigerator. And then your TV is over here. I also like that there's a table here so I can sit and eat dinner. And then our bathroom, we've got, you know, a separate area for the toilet, sinks, tub is in there and then this is the big entryway so it's quite a large room and honestly again for the price i'll take it it's clean it's nice it's quiet it's a win so for dinner tonight you guys i'm gonna go to qdoba it's literally within walking distance from the hotel so i just hopped on my app just to kind of see what is available at qdoba so i am on the green plan so i am going to try to keep my dinner at about 10 points so definitely going to get the grilled chicken so I'm going to go ahead and track that for dinner and then I definitely want to do the fajita veggies because they're only one smart point so that makes me at five points so far I absolutely am obsessed with their corn salsa so I have to do that so that is one more point which puts me at six and then I'm debating on whether I want to do brown rice or black beans and I'm going to basically put together a burrito bowl um so gosh I can't decide what I want to do with that I feel oh you know what I'm going to do no I'm going to do this I'm going to do the pinto beans because they're only three points there we go so where was I at four five six that's nine points and then I think I'm going to do so I think what I'm going to do with that extra point is I'm going to do the uh, Qdoba Mexican grill light sour cream but I'm only going to do half of a serving so I'm going to go here to where it says one serving and I'm going to change that to half of a serving which will only be one smart point and I'm going to track that for dinner so that will make my dinner 10 points so that keeps me right where I need to be so that leaves me eight points so there's my dinner for 10 and I have eight points left I'm probably going to want something for dessert so I'm going to be able to save some points for that so I am right on track you guys for tonight so let's head to Qdoba and pick up some dinner and it's twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire because all i want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas a moment. Hi guys, I'm back from dinner. You saw what I had at Qdoba. It was 
delicious. I'm still a little hungry, but I ate pretty early. It's not even five o'clock yet. So I think I'm going to have my quest bar a little bit later because it'll cure that sweet tooth and give me that little extra bit of protein. So if that's what I have, I'll definitely show that to you guys. So it's about 530. I'm going to do a little me day, a little me night, a spa night. So I'm going to take a shower and then I'm going to do a face mask and an eye mask and all the things. And I'm going to relax and upload some videos and just have a little bit of a relaxing evening. So I'm going to hop in the shower and I'll be back once I start my little me night and show you what I have for my last meal slash dessert for the night. So step one of my little beauty routine. So I have one of my face masks on and these are the ones that I hauled in my favorites. The last time I did a quarterly favorites, it's these, these dermal face masks. I got these off of Amazon. This is the charcoal collagen mask. They all have different uh, features. So charcoal, there's a gold one, there's aloe, there's all sorts of different features. They're amazing. And you get like 20 or 30 packs for like $7. So they are linked in my Amazon store and that is down in the description box. So as crazy as I look, I'm going to let this charcoal do its business for about 20 minutes and then we're going to put on some eye masks. So I'm going to go ahead and have my quest bar. It's about 6:20, so I don't want to eat much later. I'm going to probably head to bed pretty early tonight. So I'm working on my face mask, going to have my quest bar, put on my eye mask and then relax for the rest of the night. All right, guys, this is it for tonight. Got my eye masks on. These are from Save Sue. You can get some free products, uh, Amazon products from Save Sue. The link's always in my description box, but I brought a pack of these with me. They feel so good. They're nice and cold and comforting. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna blow dry my hair and I'm hitting the hay and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. If you haven't seen already, my weigh-in results from Wednesday went live on my channel today. I'm up. I'm ready. I just got dressed. I'm going to see if I can show you guys my outfit because I get a lot of compliments on this shirt and it's actually from Walmart. So crazy as that is, but I'm up. I'm ready. I did make myself a little cup of coffee here in the kitchen and I'm going to head out the door, grab Starbucks, maybe grab some breakfast. I'm going to show you guys the snacks that I'm bringing along with me for today. I'm probably going to have to grab lunch. So I'm going to bring a couple of things to take for lunch and I'm going to head out the door. I don't know where I'm going, so I'm going to have to nav myself. I don't know how traffic is going to be and I have to find a Starbucks and all the things. So I want to make sure that I allow myself plenty of time to do all of those things. It's just just now 7 a.m. My class starts at 8.30, but registration is at 8. And again, I need to hit up Starbucks, find the place, park, all the things. So I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing for snacks and then we'll head out the door. All right, let me see if I can show you my outfit. Again, it's a little rough. There's no mirror or anything here other than in the bathroom. So I have this cute little leopard shirt and it has like this ribbing and then it kind of flares out at the bottom. I have it paired with this cardigan that I got at Target. This is the, a new day. And then I have these really cute pants and I don't know if you guys can see, but they do have a cute little zipper at the bottom. And then I have these fun little booties. Hopefully I'm showing you guys those, but that's my outfit for today. I wanted to show you this palette. I got this palette in a Fab Fit Fun box. I actually subscribed myself and then they sent me one to review as well. So in my box that I subscribed to, I got this palette and this is from the Beauty Bakery and this is Proof is in the Pudding. Okay, you guys, I am obsessed. Look at this palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love these colors so much. They're very neutral, but yet they're really, some of them are matte, some of them are glittery. There, that's a little bit better lighting. Look at that. I'm literally obsessed. So I'm gonna see if I can find this and I'll find it wherever it's cheapest. And I'm gonna link it below for you guys because if you are someone who is into neutral colors, again, you're gonna love this palette. Proof is in the put-in by Beauty Bakery. So I'm about to head out the door to my class. So here's what I'm gonna be bringing. So I'm gonna stop at Starbucks and get some coffee and I'm just gonna add my Premier to it and that'll be my breakfast. I may get the turkey bacon breakfast sandwich from Starbucks too because I think it's like five or six points and that should be good. I'm gonna bring some of my dried pears from Nut Stop as a snack. Also some hip peas 
and my coconut almond built bar and that's going to be my snacks and then i've got a built boost here in strawberry vanilla and then i've got just a water enhancer i do have that big bottle of water left over from yesterday and i'm going to get a big water when i'm at starbucks so i'm just doubled up on the water and then for part of my lunch i'm going to bring my raspberry siggy's yogurt and some fresh raspberries we do have an hour for lunch so i'm probably gonna have to go get lunch somewhere so of course i'll take you guys with me but i'm gonna get these snacks packed up and then I need to head out the door to Starbucks and go to my class. All right, so here is my reduced fat turkey bacon sandwich. And then I decided to get four shots over ice. I'm just going to have to add my premier protein in stages. So this is gonna be my breakfast. And hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Hey guys, I am officially back at the hotel after my class Holy moly, was it a long day my butt hurts from sitting in that chair. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And every time they gave us a break, I got up. I walked and got some lunch. You saw my burrito bowl. I did have a cookie as well. I just wasn't able to film it. It was pretty hard in the class to film my food. And I actually ended up bringing my lunch back to the classroom. And I was able to film it really quick before a bunch of other people came in. But it's a long day. I'm not gonna lie, I'm exhausted. Like literally exhausted. It was so hot in that room, I'm still hot. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. I'm pretty full from that burrito bowl, so I don't know if I'm going to be eating any dinner. I may just have a few snacky things. And on top of that, I don't wanna leave again because I'm gonna have to walk to wherever I'm going to eat and I'm gonna shower and put my pajamas on. And I'm gonna relax, watch YouTube. I have a few real estate type of things to do tonight. So whatever I end up eating for dinner, I'll show you guys. Oh, and I realized when I got back to the hotel, I have nothing to drink, nothing. I didn't have, I don't have any water, I didn't get anything. So. I'm gonna have to go into the little kitchen area here and just get some water, I guess. Oh, dang it. And we can't have any deliveries or anything here because it's a locked building and you have to actually have a key to get in and oh, I should have grabbed some drinks. But whatever I have for dinner, I'll show you guys and then I'll sign off for the night and I'll see you guys, of course, in the morning. So I'm gonna shower and then let's have just some snacky type of thing for dinner. So I actually was able to round up some dinner. I am gonna be using my weeklies today just between lunch and dinner. It's just, it's today was the day I planned on using my weeklies. It's Friday, my week starts over. So I found this little personal pizza. So I'm gonna have this, I don't know the points, I'll put it here on the screen for you. And then I also found a lime seltzer water and a diet Pepsi. So good on drinks. So I'm gonna have this for dinner. I'm probably not having anything else, but if I do, I'll show you guys. If you don't see me again, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning. It's currently 6.47. I literally just dropped the key off to my room. It's dark still, so I'm going to kind of take my time heading out of town, not wanting to drive for sure on the pass back to Spokane from Seattle in the dark. So I'm gonna kind of take my time. I'm planning on stopping in a little town called North Bend, Washington. It's about 40 minutes from where I currently am. I'm gonna stop there. I've got a quarter tank of gas. I'm gonna fill up my car, get some coffee. I think they have a Starbucks there and my goal is to get a coffee and then some add my protein shake to it and get one of those turkey cheese breakfast sandwiches. So that's kind of my plan. Sorry, there's this weird person driving around hmm, Seattle. Um, that's my plan for this morning. So I'm gonna head out, head out and I'll touch base with you guys when I get into North Bend, show you what I'm having for breakfast. So let's hit the road. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. So we have it on repeat from yesterday for breakfast. So I went ahead and grabbed another one of the reduced fat turkey bacon sandwiches. I also have some of those raspberries left, one package, so I'm gonna munch on those. And then I have my chocolate premier protein and four shots over ice. So 
that's going to be my breakfast. So it's six points on the green plan for the turkey sandwich, two points for the premiere. So this is eight points. And then of course the raspberries are zero. So I'm going to eat and I'm going to get back on the road. So we've got some snow on the pass. What a difference a day makes, you guys. When I came over to Seattle, this was dry and clear. And now that I'm heading home, look at, we legit have a winter wonderland. So crazy. I talked to my husband though this morning and he said, we don't have any snow at home. It's just been raining, but I am on the pass. I'm on the pass. So that's partially why, but it's gorgeous. I just have to be pretty careful driving. So just wanted to show you really quick what the difference one day can make. Hey guys, I'm in Ellensburg, Washington. I don't know how far that is from Seattle, maybe an hour and a half or so. So I stopped at the local gas station to use the restroom and to get a couple of drinks for the road. Let me show you what I grabbed. So of course, Two, dos, waters, two Aquafina waters. I do have the Built Boost that I can throw in there and also those Walmart flavorings. And then I decided to grab myself a cotton candy bang just so that I had a little energy drink to work on on the way home. So I'm getting back on the road. It is nine o'clock. Oh, I'm gonna have a snack too. Here in probably about a half an hour or so. So I have a cherry built bar black cherry built bar so i'm not gonna have this yet but i'll be driving when i do so that's gonna be my three point snack here at about 9 30 or so so i'm gonna get back on the road so i'm stopping here at carl's jr for some lunch i gotta look up my app and see what i can have i'm going to limit my lunch for for about 12 points or less and that will leave me still 20 points or so this uh for today so let me see what i can scoop up at carl's jr so here's what I decided to have for lunch. So I have their five piece hand breaded chicken strips. These actually look really, really good. Um, 11 smart points for these. I did not get any sauce. Um, and this will tide me over until I get home. I can have some fruit or something then, but Carl's Jr. You can do it. 11 smart points. I give you a Christmas a moment will fill with love and joy. It's so a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. Ooh, ooh. I don't need any presents. Hey guys, I'm home. Well, I'm not home. I'm currently outside of the post office. I stopped by my P.O. box and I had a pile of cards for our Christmas card exchange on my Facebook group. And my secret sister gift is here. So I'm so excited to open that when I get home. But I'm literally like five minutes from home. It's been a trip. Those chicken strips, you guys, from Carl's Jr. are really good and super filling. Like, I'm stuffed. And I could eat a hamburger or another type of, like, chicken or fish sandwich for 11 points and not be as stuffed as I am. I mean, they were seriously really good. And I didn't have any dipping sauce. And they were still delicious. So, highly recommend. So, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my little trip over to Seattle, kind of seeing what I ate. Just joining me on a trip just to see what you can do when you're by yourself to stay on track. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. Make sure you thumbs up this one. And of course, leave your comments. Let me know what you thought of coming along with me to Seattle. You Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Happy holidays. I'm going home to see my dogs and my husband, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.